Arsenal bench. The Arsenal team then has Heen in goal. Gabriel, home on the bench. The Arsenal team then has Heen in goal. Gabriel, Omar Rekic and Mon Luis are the three at the back. Four in midfield are Azid Ogungbo and Zach Swanson as the two wing backs with Charlie Patino and Henry Francis in the middle of the park. And an all action three up front. Nika Beerith, Omar Gerard Hutchinson, who scored twice at junior level this season already. And Kiddo Taylor Hart, again, immensely highly rated. That mobile three wearing nine, seven, and 11. Believe you me, very well worth watching from an Arsenal point of view this afternoon. Can they get the job done, I wonder? They get those bragging rights against Spurs. We'll wait and see. It's going to be absolutely fascinating. It's for Tottenham. A bit more of a stable lineup, really. Just the one change from the side that beat Leeds that we mentioned. That one change sees Dale Scarlett come into the team. And Dane Scarlett has had a bit of first team experience this season. He's very highly rated, he's quite a handful. And he, we think, will be part of a three man attack with Alfie Devine and Dylan Markande, who has scored four goals already. Spurs is under 23 games, including a hat trick last time out. He's certainly a tidy performer. So, 9, 7, and 10 for Tottenham, I think, would also be well worth a watch. The rest of the team is unchanged. It's Matthew Craig who drops down to the bench, by the way. So, Josh Oluwayemi, the young Nigerians in goal for Tottenham. Marcel Lavinia, Callum Tracy Cassay, Toby Amole, and the captain, Brooklyn Lions Foster, at the back four. Niall John, who has scored this season too. Harvey White and the very highly rated Jack Clark. They're the three in midfield. And I mentioned the three players up top there as well for the home team. We'll be locking horns in just a second. So Craig, Janiel Bennett, Marcus Moore, Adam Hayton and Maxime Pascotzi. They're the bench for Spurs. In addition to Kirk and Gratchik, it's Joel Idejo, Ben Cottrell and Salah Ulad Mhend who are the bench for Arsenal. Just five subs named for both teams. So you enjoy the traditional pre-match homage to the Black Lives Matter movement as ever that need impeccably observed. Excellent to see. And we now prepare for kickoff in just a couple of moments' time. Your referee today, by the way, is Robert Massey Ellis. As confident on the ball early on. Lavinia and Tracy Cassay, the two fullbacks, getting their feet on the ball early on. Turn at the centre back, Samole and Lyons Foster, the skipper. Good tough tackle flying in. Jack Henry Francis, having eight for Arsenal. 17 years old, great opportunity for him today, into the side, having pressed pre-season when he came off the bench in the defeat to Hibernian. He gets his opportunity after Scantron's last season, but it's Arsenal now on the back foot. Spurs trying to slide one through. Well, he more capable of dealing with that one. Estonian bowling it out quickly, as far as Omar Gerard Hutchinson. Principal play from he, I think really going downfield. Arsenal's turn now to build from the back and shows some composure on the ball. Nice ball forward, intelligent flick on as well. You know, Taylor Hart so close to getting clear. Harvey White, wearing eight for Spurs with the interception. Important tackle. Nice Taylor Hart. And that searing pace and that wonderful close control that he possesses. Easy a bit dodging down that far side. First corner of the game. Go Arsenal's way. 
Again, that left hand side. Showing some promising combination play. Throw back pardon just near the corner flag. Arsenal potentially near from here. Clark is standing to keep that one in play. Come on, still again. Keep all over the top looking for Mika Beereth. Beereth. One goal this season already. Incredibly talented 18 year old. Doesn't need much of a sniff. We'll get to that one. Sure, over the course of this game, opportunities will unfold for him. This place pass easily cut out by Spurs and Lavinia. As far as Clark, the danger man. Nice play. I mentioned the power and pace of Dane Scarlett. Finding Alfie Devine as that three man front line combined well. He has continued his run. And Arsenal in good shape. Defensive structure, not committing, but keeping Spurs at arm's length. And that's so far working well for Kevin Betsy's men. They can see the throw, but good shape and structure there, which is promising at this early stage, even if Spurs are having. Good degree of the ball. Arsenal doubling up in defence and doubling up very effectively as Rod Hutchinson puts out on Louis. Nine now, going a little deeper. He's been to try and find the ball and an awful misplaced pass. Here is Omar Sherrod Hutchinson. Good chance for the opening goal of the game. Rod Hutchinson, less rip. That's meaningful shot of this. 23 North London derby. It's the first corner of the game for Arsenal as well. You cannot give Gerard Hutchinson that kind of invite. Divine's poor ball. Great run ball at his feet. All opened up. It's the shot away, but Spurs with an all important last gasp interception. Otherwise, that could have easily been the opening goal of this match. First corner, as I say, which Gerard Hutchinson will take on the far stand side. Work there from Mark Hande to try and prevent the short corner. And the delivery is a little unconvincing. Scarlett was back, helping out his defence using that powerful physique once more. I think, no, it's trickled out of play. Indeed, it has. So, six minutes gone, as you can see on your screen. Arsenal with the one real shot at goal so far, the one opportunity. A bit breezy, you could hear from Meadow Lane as well. As he, very advanced position. Himself, just 19 years old, the Estonian. Ball was intercepted. Challenge though from the Arsenal midfield. Touchinson on this side. 
Miscommunication between Lavinia and Clark. Russell will be happy with that. As the youngster is tracked quickly. Henry Francis buys opposing number eight, Harvey White, but I think Henry Francis gets rid of it. Adeptly and quickly, and enables Arsenal to come again. Through. Taylor Hart. His first goal of this season. Just possessed there. Defending though. Same one, Louis. Quick to read that one. One Louis. Rakic and Gabriel rearguard so far. Holding firm. To see Gabriel on the ball, as you mentioned. So much first team pedigree for the 23 year old, but injury pre Olympics has not been involved at all during pre season or for the first team. With their three matches so far. Come back today. Gabriel, the captain. Ali Patino getting involved. The first time really in this match wearing 17, making his third appearance of the season. Here he is. Player. Playing advanced midfield. And in this 3 4 3 formation, he's seen just a little deeper today alongside Henry Francis. Look there at Omar Rakic, the 19 year old Tunisian, wearing five. Finds Gabriel. Back from Tottenham there, the Mole and Lua Yemi, the Nigerian keeper. Relating this attack potentially is Clark finds Lavinia. But again, Arsenal's shape is strong and sound. Over the top was a good one. Here's Divine. Lee opened up for young Alfie Divine. He's defending from Arsenal. And not meant to be. A mixture of Rekic and Gabriel. A solid job there to stop Alfie Devine getting a shot on target from a strong position. Maybe bagging. Every goal of the season for him, that is. Not for Spurs, they've scored a fair few already. Six to be precise, which Mark Hande, remember, wearing seven today. Scored four of them. Lyle John's got one, and Janil Bennett, who's on the bench, has another for Tottenham. Good view here of Gerard Hutchinson. Two of the goals. 4-2 win against Crystal Palace and plays a really promising crossfield ball there. Just slightly overhit, slightly caught on the breeze, meaning that you know, Taylor Hart didn't quite get that. Still, case is so far so good though. there from Arsenal look at that swarming forward four red and white jerseys in the end that press really pays dividends so close to the opening goal of the game so so close from Mika Beareth as you mentioned such predatory instincts backed himself to score there was mightily close 
Louis Amy was certainly worried, especially in the Tottenham goal as Gareth turned, leashed that right foot. It's not far away. Here's Rekic. Looking for Beareth once more. Arsenal definitely growing in confidence. As they commit men forward, could they be potentially caught on the counter? Divine went close. Good flowing move this as well. A solid piece of defending on the far side. I think from Mazid Ogungbo, the young Irishman. Left wing back today, tracking back. Of the island the 19 setup. Kongbo, well, there to track that one, but it is at the expense of the Tottenham corner. I make that there first of the game, of course, after Arsenal had theirs just a little earlier. It will be Harvey White to take it, cultured playmaker, a footed in swinger, strong punch clear from here. Neat work from. Niall John sitting in front of the back four, getting it back and ultimately getting the throw. Spurs on the far side. Work from Arsenal again. Really are denying Tottenham time and space, and often it is reaping its rewards. Gabriel. Again, no ill effects, hopefully, so far of that injury. Important that he can. So not just Kevin Betsy and Permata Saka, but clearly Mikel Arteta as well, that not too far away from a first team return. Mentioned pre kickoff with Ben White's illness. Certainly, Marie Chambers and holding. Another option there in terms of who to play in either a two or three man central defence is always very welcoming. Gabriel very highly thought of. He helps free. Gerard Hutchinson. Now to Taylor Hart. Nice delivery. Taylor Hart not far away. Boasted his way out of camera down that right hand side. Opened up beautifully for him just cutting flanks from the left. Tricky one to take on the half foul it volley first time, but you know Taylor Hart. One a million miles away from the opener. Marshall's Premier League Two showdown. Oh, ball nearly given away by Spurs. It is eventually given away as Arsenal press and swarm again. They open up. It's another great chance. Superb block. Nice Zach Swanson. Swanson's already scored once this season. That again was in that Crystal Palace win last time out. Pep Rip. Down the back of the net himself. That would have been great. Short corner this time. Tino. There's his turn to keep a good line and come fast ball back a little, but no need to rush things, no need to over panic and overplay. Arm at the back. Oh, up to Henry Francis. Nice move here from Spurs. Their turn to patiently hold on to the ball and probe and what they can do. Once more, tried and trusted, fairly familiar combination. Jack Clark, dice out of a combination of Bon Louis and Swanson once more, though. So Spurs 
Also they go in field. Such a hotly contested game and such a hotly contested battleground so far. And down on the far side. He wins the free kick. Gabriel takes it quickly. Also in the game. Looking to build from the back and get some time on the ball. The ideology of the junior teams in the first team intertwined, just as we like to see through the 18s to the 23s. To the first team. Bob! Bob! Quite a few of this team, of course, have also played all the under 18s. In fact, the vast majority of them making their way through. Hopefully, to even better and greater things in time. And looking tackles like that from Swanson. Maybe for the future, for some of these lads could lead. Being tugged left, right, and centre is Jack Henry Francis. Pardon, it was Beareth, actually. Beareth having come deep into that central midfield position to get hold of the ball. Very significantly pulled in the back by Toby Amole there. Amole being spoken to by our referee today, Mr. Mercy Ellis. Just being told to ease that physicality because that was pretty blatant and fairly physical. Here is, by the way, having none of it. And I thought coping with it pretty nicely. And still Arsenal with the best chances of the game. They build from the back through Henry Francis this time. Little deflection. Just wrong foot to Taylor Hart. Taylor Hart wins it back quite brilliantly. Here he is. Talked about that dribbling and close control ability. Maybe had one too many men in there. Hey, hey, As you could say, it was who uh, won it back for Spurs, but again, he straight back into Arsenal possession. Game being pulled, no foul on Beareth this time, says the referee, who was well placed. As you could hear, Havinia quite fancied the ball on this near stand side. Didn't get it from a mole. Rise of Toby. Toby. And wide to the right instead. And maybe that was a good call because this is a promising Tottenham move. Their best chances of the game so far. Ball pinballing and ricocheting around. Got fired in from Niall John. Clark finds Slovenia. Slovenia shot. Saved in the end by Carl Heen, but maybe Heen could have been made to work just a little harder. Slightly tamed, straight at the young Estonian. Makes an all important save. Heen, unbelievably, at 19, has eight senior Estonian caps already. He has been on the Arsenal senior bench as well, yet to make his competitive senior debut but back into the under 23s for the first time this season meaning that Hubert Gracek drops down to the bench seems he's a real star of the future no question Clark For once gets the better of his man Swanson wrapped that right boot around it, but Rackett was more than equal to it. Secure so far as Omar Rackett wearing five. Good clearance there for the man. Came through at Hertha Berlin for their junior and second teams before making the move to Gunners into North London. Plenty of space for Clark this time. Arsenal just a little exposed. Hesitant, understandably, to make the challenge. Another all important last ditch block. Matt Clark, very close to the opening goal there, and it really did open up. 
understand why Swanson didn't want to dive in and potentially seat the pen. Unhappy with something there, I think. It was just a little nibble on Clark, potentially after he got his shot away. In fact, I think we're going for a drop ball. Maybe. Or is it a free kick to Spurs? It is a drop ball. Spurs keep hold of it. Over the top by Niall John, looking for that second of the season. Irith just about wins it back. Nice work from Tino as well. So just not quite with the right attacking shape on the counter attack to really make the most of that one, though. And an end to end frenetic passage of play. It's Spurs who had it, then lost it. Both teams rampaging forward and back. It's not the most quality at the moment, but so much passion and nice Premier League to battle for North London bragging rights. Again, Spurs emerge down this left-hand side where they're enjoying a bit of swan song at the moment as Lavinia finds Clark again. He's got Divine if he needs it. Clark goes himself. Takes a deflection. And he's saved in the end by he. That's two or three times now in recent minutes. Just a note of caution. Kevin Betsy and Arsenal. With that Lavinia 2 Clark combination. Starting to have a little bit of joy. So the defending is getting a little last gasp, even if he's holding firm so far. Bit of a breather for Arsenal, just for a second. Just over halfway through this first half. Don't forget, we bring you the breakdown live. Adrian Clark and Jeremy and the Adier. Big day tomorrow. Live on Arsenal.com and the app. And then the build up to live audio commentary of that huge game in the Premier League. Arsenal away to Manchester City. Clever ball through. Looking for Scarlett, who, despite my big billing pre match and one nice move early, has been fairly quiet. Dane Scarlett, a big part of Spurs' senior pre season, in and around their team, or their squad at least. Drops back down today. His initial move freed Lavinia. I think we'll not want to see that one again. So Lavinia attempted to put his laces through it. Rose a good five or ten yards over the bar and was still going until a couple of moments ago. Good job that they've got those protective guards behind the goals, otherwise that one would have been lost in the trees. Yeah, Arsenal Man City, massive game at the weekend. Spurs, as I commentated on for us, good to see. Got some momentum into the season. Arsenal with that 6 0 win. It's an admittedly fledgling West Brom team in the Carabao Cup back on Wednesday night. Something on the back of the Brentford and Chelsea losses, but huge game. Breakdown live from 12. City Arsenal. Also this coming Tuesday, Arsenal's women take on Slavia Prague. That's with my colleague Max Jones. 7.30 kickoff. It's in the next round of their Champions League qualifiers. As just for a moment, Spurs try to play maybe a bit too much football. It's Clark himself under pressure, but Heavily played the ball off an Arsenal shirt. Out for a goal kick and no more. You can catch that Arsenal women's Slavia game on Arsenal.com, the app, and on Twitch as well. Don't forget to match tickets now available in the WSL for Arsenal against Chelsea's women. That's Emirates Stadium on Saturday, September the 5th, and a 12.30 kickoff. Tickets now available for that one. Big, big challenge there from Lavinia. Irith has been sent flying. It was committed. I think he got some of the ball, but it was certainly reckless and you can argue out of control as well. Irith in some pain as he went down. You could hear the crunch. You could see the 
weight of momentum there. I suspect a yellow card will be the decision. Gabriel, the skipper, comes forward to have a word with referee Robert Massielis. What will the decision be? Spurs skipper, Brooklyn Lions Foster, having his say as well. It is a yellow card for Marcel Lavinia. Bringing down Beerith in, say, forthright fashion. Still free kick. Taken quickly in the end by Jack Henry Francis. Here he is again. Tries to beat his man, but is dispossessed as that battle between the two number eights continues. Harvey White looks his way around Swanson as well. Swanson was then fouled. Fouled his man, Harvey White. It's another free kick in a fairly promising position. Tottenham Hotspur under 23s. Don't forget, among the coaching staff at the Spurs Academy, a certain Ryan Mason, former Tottenham and Tottenham youth midfielder, briefly in charge of the senior team, of course, last season after the departure of a certain Jose Mourinho before Nuno Vito Santo came in. We're watching on eagerly, well, Mason is white. Mason's old position of central midfield prepares to take this one left footed. Ends it in dangerously, ball goes loose. Gabriel, I think it was, who took a swing at it. And Brooklyn Lions Foster's opposing skipper suddenly had the freedom of the penalty area. The centre half, not a natural finish with the ball at his feet, clearly. Just lacked the necessary composure there, but it's two or three chances that Spurs have created in recent minutes after Arsenal's promising earlier spell. We seem now to be mostly Tottenham. Kind of pushing the anti and the agenda in this game. Wayne Burnett, technically the Spurs under 23 manager. This has been since 2013, but Mason is head of academy coaching and Chris Powell, of course, former Charlton Spurs and England left back is head of player development. They're the trio have been putting this Tottenham team mostly through its paces and doing pretty well. As I mentioned, second in the table so far. And another foul committed, this time on Niall John. It was Charlie Patino just coming back to help his defenders out. Put in a slightly needless, needly little boot. For about the fourth time, it's a free kick in the same position. It won't be the left foot of White this time, it'll be the Right boot of the excellent Jack Clark. He just well under pressure there. Two big burly bodies on him and barely troubled, was he? And I think he was fouled as he tried to get that kick away as well. Indeed he was. And this time it was the retreating Brooklyn Lions Foster. The captain goes into the book. After that, the free kick to Junior Gunners. Let's see, I think, and this is third game in charge. He'll be relatively pleased with what he's seeing. The working and Fulham midfielder. The roll over the course of the off season. There, White was nearly dispossessed. It's a good game so far, wearing eight is Harvey White. Lavernia finds John. And from Callum Tracy Cassay. 
captain Lyons Foster. Wonderful through ball, really well weighted. This is a worry. Flashing past the edge of the six yard box. No one dealt with it. Everybody left it. Real there. Standing. Just about did enough. He and Rackick stretched, but the pet. Significant pressure from that in swinging cross again. Just about doing enough to guide the ball to safety, and Arsenal this time, crucially, chance for a breather. Get the throw. Play from Omar Giraud Hutchinson to the throw. And on the call on Jack Henry Francis. Now Louis to Swanson. It's by the way, a couple of other Premier League team matches place today. Blackburn Leicester, Crystal Palace Everton and Derby Leeds as well as also try a slightly hopeful ball over the top for Beerith. Olua Yemi in the Spurs goal. Getting there calmly. At least Arsenal have got the ball back deep into Tottenham territory for a moment where it's not been for much of the last few minutes after that very promising Arsenal spell beforehand. This is a great chance to Beerith. Great play down the left-hand side. Beerith again, let's fly. You know, Taylor Hart, who won it, he was cutting in in support. Beerith running with the ball at his feet. Maybe just slightly caught in two minds before letting fire. I'm pretty sure that one took a ricochet off a Spurs defender last. It did. It is at least another Arsenal corner. Beerith with a couple of really good chances in this game now. Neither taken as yet, but again, surely, giving these men these chances, that kind of sniff, it must be a matter of time, you'd have thought. Long looping delivery from Cheryl Hutchinson that time. Henry Francis won it, but lacked a bit of support. And Jack Clark brings it clear. Lovely clumsy foul from Henry Francis. You know, Taylor Hart was there if needed to help, but. Henry Francis decided to commit. And that commitment's led to yet another Tottenham free kick. Divine with the run across field. The mole. Now John. Lavinia back to Clark. He needs to have a busy and industrious half, doesn't he? A little through ball once more. Mazid Agungbo seeing players either side of him. And two on one. Led to a little bit of a breach, but again, that three man central defence does its job. How much longer can it, though? Lavinia once more. Screaming for the ball, gets it again. Up against Mon Louis. Twisting, turning. Lavinia once more. Very brave block, divine. Edges it onto Scarlet. Fringeman with Arsenal temporary respite. Arsenal bodies on the line there to try and block that shot. Lavinia letting fly. Nile John up there too. And Real serious commitment there from Betsy's men. Three players all jumping in the way of that ball between them. To make sure that it did not find its target. Divine. 
Looks as far as Tracy Cassay. Gabriel again with the clearance. Here's Beerith. He's been tugged and pushed and fouled every which way in this first half, but he's so powerful for his young age. Again, out frame holds the ball up very well under significant pressure. Poor touch on that occasion, though, from Swanson, I'm afraid. And does a fair bit of Arsenal's good work. Interception. Strong header from Mazid. Free kick goes Arsenal's way as well. Gabriel there. Strides up to potentially take it. Will it be Patino instead? It is Patino back to Gabriel. Cross to try and block the pass back to the goalkeeper and doing the same again, preventing Arsenal from playing out from the back in the fashion that they have for much of the game so far. As a result, Gabriel forced to pump that one downfield and out for a throw. Took a nick, I think, but Spurs player it did. Long to go till half time at the Hotspur Way training centre at Meadow Lane. Lead two showdown. Seventh against second. Nice little challenge from Taylor Hart there. To Henry Francis. In space, not seen for a while in this game since the first few minutes. Omar Sherrod Hutchinson. Does he win the throw? Answer is no. Kept him play well. By Jack Clark. Clark's had excellent game so far. Alongside Harvey White, the pair of them in midfield. Jack Clark, you can just see on your screen there. Still only 20. All in York. 22 league appearances for Leeds before being signed by Spurs as a teenager a couple of seasons ago. Then back to Leeds, then to QPR, then to Stoke. Multiple England on the 20s caps to his name as well. Big season, I think, this for Jack Clark. If he's going to stamp his authority at Spurs and make it through potentially to the first team. I would argue that post Jose Mourinho, there might be more chance. We shall see, but as he surges forward, Jack Clark here, he's keen to impress and where that might lead. Be divine. Over hits that one significantly. Stay. And nil nil. Not injury niggle, I think maybe for Clark as he ran forward. Indeed it is. I think he's okay. So, by the way, with seven FA Youth Cups and six age group league titles over the years, before that, Premier League two triumph, commentated on a fair bit off back in 2017 18. And that crop of brilliant young Arsenal players who's starting to really gel and come through. Many of you, the likes of Bakaya Saka, Anthony Maitland Niles, who've now seen the first team level. And Quit themselves in such an accomplished and successful fashion for club and country, don't forget, these days too. Come Arsenal. Aziz bringing it forward beautifully. Rack kick, I should say. Down as far as Taylor Hart. Patino almost felt as Zach Swanson. Rack kick. Patino there with a really nice little counter attack. Working the ball quickly, which isn't always easy to do in this game. There's been some frenetic charging up and down field, but often in situations like this, locking the key to the 
kind of respective midfields has been hard to try and find a way through the defence. Could it happen here, I wonder? Here is Beerus. Beerus, by the way, signed from Fulham, where he scored 21 goals in 22 games for Fulham's under-18s last season. Not bad. Swanson. Nice ball. Just slightly behind Beelith. They had to crane his neck a tad. Probably half a yard further forward. That would have been straight onto his head and with such power and pace. And a simple matter for Nika Beerith to ride it home. He was just behind him as he surged forward. And just couldn't quite steer that header on target and with the necessary power that it needed. Offside there, which Gabriel takes quickly. You wreck it. The other member of the back three, Zane Mon Luis. Zach Swanson switched jerseys just before kickoff. Sure, if we had had them the opposite way around. But wearing two for sure. Here is Mon Luis in acres of space. All across field. Taylor Hart with the shot first time. Real close option there for Mon Luis. So now, Kiddo Taylor Hart. I think goalbound powerful effort blocked once more by the Spurs defence and follow up as Henry Francis shows a little bit too much of it to Harvey White. Open clearance clear and I think it nicked off the Arsenal player last. It did. Another Spurs throw. Arsenal just coming back into this in recent minutes after a slightly quieter spell where they were on the back foot, shall we say. They started and finished the half the stronger. Spurs enjoying a middle purple patch. The likes of Maitland Niles and Saka, so many players have come through and shone from this division and from this level. Could Shiroad Hutchinson be another, I wonder? Same for Beerith, and those two players combining well. In swinging delivery that time from Gerald Hutchinson. Beareth again under pressure from those two big centre halves of Mole and Lyons Foster. Not quite get the purchase on the header that he wanted. He threw earlier though, and list of stars. You think of Emiliano Martinez, Bentner, Tony Adams, the Coles, Ashley, and Andy. Martin Keogh. Paul Merson, Jack Wilshire, Seth Fabregas, Hector Bayerin. It's an impressive list of those that come through the Arsenal Academy. Irish stars like Stapleton, Quinn, O'Leary, Brady. Don't forget the likes of Wojciech Chesney and Alex Iwobi as well. Long, rich list that some of these guys on show today. Hoping to follow through on. I think on the balance of play, goalless is probably a fair score at half time. Cabrerith, you know, Taylor Hahn, particularly at one stage, Omar Gerard Hutchinson, a real handful. The steering runs of Swanton and the strong defensive line of Gabriel Rekic and Mon Louis. That Arsenal is the away team, don't forget. And a promising first 45.